Hey guys, my name is Seti Egg and welcome back to your boys International Airport where things have never been so good. With $10 million in the bank right now, we're now finally adding in all the last few features to make this the greatest airport the world has ever seen. And before I can eventually reset my gameplay settings to having a passenger ratio of 100%. I am scared for my PC if I go down that route. But there's a few things we need to do to make it more efficient before I'm ready to do that. Now, if you are enjoying the series, make sure you smash that like button down below. And if you're under in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. Now, last episode, we added in uh, another restaurant. So we added in a store over here uh, and added in a... Uh, basically duplicated it. Added in another restaurant, another store, and got that all set up as well, giving everybody more shopping uh, options. But I also created an underground highway. And what I mean by that is, we got a, uh, a couple of elevators here, and this underpass, which allows people who are currently waiting for these gates to get over here, utilize all this stuff, even the restrooms, and get back fairly quicker. Now, I want to apply that to going in this direction, and another set just up here for there and there, because I don't think I'll be able to support more stores and restaurants on this side, because the current contracts that I have are for having like 200, 300 customers a day. And I'm just not going to get that. Those places will be vacant and I will not fulfill any of the contracts. So we're going to build some of those. But also today, I want to get some of the more plain services set up. Over here, I need to get the other uh, cleaning, cabin cleaning services and the food service, the catering services over on this side. It's pretty much then mimicked. And then I need to build the de-icing services and the hangers to repair any of the planes. It all is extra cash in your boys' pockets. So... First things first then, we'll sort this out. Now, looking at this, it should be a simple and quite an easy way to add on to it. So aircraft infrastructure, we've got the waste depot. It literally is something like this. Now, these are both service roads, so it doesn't really matter where they go. And it might be a little bit off position or off center to where that is, but I don't mind too much. Now, the service road will quickly get connected up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, which is just there. And that's pretty much then done. Both sides, easy to access. Now, I just realized we're not really all, uh, connecting directly across there. We need to get that in too, to kind of mimic the spacing. Very, very good. Very good, boys. Now, the only downside is to this area is the fact that it's not really easily accessible for get from here to here. You've got to drive all the way up and then keep going <laughs> and then crisscross there i'm wondering if there's like a, a simpler easy way to kind of get people or my vehicles over here i'm wondering if i can utilize this space in here now that might be a little bit tricky if i do a service tunnel to go down let's say just here and then another service tunnel to kind of where's the tunnels gone service tunnel to go up so i want that there but then going down there and then do running a service road here literally bypasses all of this i can run this down to there same with this to here just to give us a little bit of an easier connection on the front side of it to get from point a to point b because i have all the underground car park in there which is looking really really full right now so i can't really add much more to it but it just kind of eases the access now something else i need to get in is of course the catering services. Now the catering services, I wouldn't say is a slight problem for me, but it is a slight problem for me because we also have to get a public access road to it. Now I did it over there, you can kind of see how it kind of works. Fairly simple and easy to kind of implement. So I've got to get this over here real quick. So get all this in, and then we'll take a look at some of the new stuff we can then squeeze in as well. So get all the service road in here. We get then the ramp going down for the public road tunnel, which will go there. And then, boom, underground, public road. That's, is, it, is that you? Public road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Uh, leading up. This is going to go leading down. Voila! So now all I've got to do, boys, is just wait for our contractors to build it all. So they're already starting to build anyway, but we'll try and go in what the game now considers fast forward mode, and we'll try and get this all implemented. So, once we've got all that done, 
That's now additional cleaning services and catering services on this side of the airport to make the runs for the vehicles to get to the stands on the right hand side a lot easier, which should then make the airport slightly a bit more efficient, if that's the better way to put it. Uh, that's what we're hoping for anyway, whether it turns out to be like that uh, is yet to be seen, but it should kind of ease the burden ever so slightly. Now, I want to get in and implement, after all this has been done, we'll kind of press no on all of this stuff, is then the, um, uh, what's it called right now, the hangar to repair the planes and the de-icing services. Now, I don't know if we need the de-icing services because it's not really that cold, um, but you never know. You never know. It's an extra couple of pennies if they ever do use it. So I think it will be quite a good investment to at least get in. So we're still waiting for the last few bits and bobs here for them to build. They're all running down right now to try and complete it all. And get that public road in as well. So once that public road's built, we can then start bringing the uh, the food delivered for the catering services. Uh, this is then produces it into meals and all that kind of jazz. Uh, the cleaning's good to go. It's just got to wait for them to drop off the stuff. So it all should work out. So that's all built there. That's all built. All done there. All we're left right now with is the um, the public road, which I can see all the contractors now running down to kind of get all this completed. So, this has worked out fairly well. I think we could be quite happy about this. Very happy. So, that should be done shortly. So, I think we can now focus on the uh, the, clean, uh, the hangar stuff. So, right now, if I actually check my money... Hold on, which is down here. When it comes to aircraft, we have no money coming in for de-icing. And we have no money coming in for hanging repairs. If I do it on the daily... You can see on the current days. So the only things that we don't make any money from the aircraft is, is hangar repairs and de-icing services. Now, it's not to say that I'm going to place these down and all of a sudden we start making money. It, it could be like certain times a day. Like um, some days we'll have no plane repairs. So we won't see any money for those coming in. Um, you don't really use the de-icing services until it's a little bit colder. So you're not really going to see any money coming in for those all the time. But it all helps. I'm just realizing as well, we've got the vehicles passing through under here. So that, I think, was quite a good idea to implement that. I think it was quite a good idea to implement that. The road is almost in as well. So I just want to get this all in so we can make sure that we got our cleaning services and... No, not the cleaning services. The catering services all up and running. So i got to get these two in here just to kind of... No, that one there in, sorry, just to allow this tunnel to be kind of activated and working. Boom. We've done all the building work. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. So that will just take its time and do what it's got to do then. So we now need to look at then the hangar services. So actually, how big are these buildings? So this is a hangar. Oh, we've got to connect to a taxiway as well. So that's the only space I've got down there. But I don't really want the planes to do a reverse going back down. So do I have the space up above to be able to implement this? The answer is no. Oh dear. These are a lot bigger than I, f I, I, I thought they were. We might have to bring these back down. But then again... They're just awkward sizes. I mean... What I'll have to do is move this general aviation slightly out the way but then how big is the de-icing services so de-icing de-icing fluid depot or oh, there's actually multiple stuff i got to do it's the size of a stand oh dear god oh dear oh actually you know what it's the size of the stand but they drive in and out of it by the looks of it. But I don't have the space. I could have the space. Right. But I don't have the space because of the way the road is. Okay. We've got some configurations we need to slightly do. Right. I'm going to delete this to there. Which kind of means I need to do, redo this. But I'm going to hold out for just a moment. We'll delete that to there. Actually, I don't need to delete all this. It's only one side I need to delete. So... Scrap that. It's actually deleting this strip. Wait, that is right, isn't it? Let me just double check. Because <laughs> I could still be getting this completely wrong. 
right? If I add that there, it fits in with the fence, fits into there. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to get done. So with the uh, service road here, we'll bring to there. Right, this is going to be an absolute bodge job. Now the hangers... Oh, the hangers is a good one right now. How did the hangers work? Um... Oh, so these could actually, for example, go... Well, the aircraft goes in this way. So if I just get rid of the one stand, I'll be okay. I could have it right there. This is a right pain in the booty. I might need to get rid of that stand as well. I can't remove objects. Right, damn it. Right, can I turn... No. Right, dismiss the aircraft. And as soon as I can, close it. Destroy it. And then get rid of you. That should be all I need to do, right? That should be all I need to do. We shall see. We should actually see. So, give it a little bit more time to tick by. And wait for our contractors to get over here. So, where are our contractors now at this point? Which side are they going to be walking on? They are. Oh, there they are. There they are. They're just walking up right now. So I'm hoping it's not actually a big job to get this done. Because in reality, they're just kind of like deleting some stuff and adding a couple of little strips in. But it's just the size and the airport I've got right now really is crippling my game. So it might take a little bit longer than you expect. Right, they're deleting the old bit. Oh, which I've just realized I've also got to delete the taxiway. So we might experience some some large delays right now. So if I delete, let's say here, it should be reasonable, right? Right, delete that, which is going to kill off all my stands. But just bear with me for a second, okay? Just bear with us for just a second. So it's about to become daytime shortly. All right, deleted all the space where I'm going to have the hangar. I need them to delete all the taxiway, which is going to cause ridiculous delays. But it means every airplane has to go through the de-icing services to, to get to the runway. So, yeah. I don't know if they'll use it or not, but it's an additional charge. All right, they're adding in the road so we're not all over the place. i got to add that one little additional bit to the road infrastructure just there right can you boys get rid of the rest of this they're all standing around right now doing nothing so while they're standing around doing nothing what about the hangar so a large hangar getting you in would be just about there oh Okay. It will be just there. I'm now realizing I've got to get rid of the other stand. So if I put you in here. And then this is this is crazy. I can't express how crazy this is. Where's my taxiway foundation? There we go. This is redonkulous. I think I'm going to slight little diagonal. And then service road needs to be attached to it. But this stand here, we need to dismiss. To then close it. To delete it. To get rid of you. 
to extend the service road up to here this is also just a big of a job than the previous way oh this is so ugly this is so ugly but um <laughs> we see what we can get out of it we see if it'd be any good so i'm losing lots of money right now and i've got lots of delays all because of the fact that i've had to delete the taxiway so we're just waiting for our contractors to run all the way back which they're just now arriving i think that's my contractors there right um to complete the remainder of this stuff it should have started getting a little bit lighter as well now so we're just playing the waiting game yeah here's my contractors now now they're arriving <coughs> as i choke up my own words right it's definitely getting lighter getting in the taxiway foundations we should be building the additional stuff oh did i set this to be deleted by the way there we go uh so the de-icing service is now operational hopefully let's go wait for the remaining i think we just gotta wait for that little bit there to be built for it to fully be working so the hangers up and running which obviously it needs the connection in as well we need the connection there that's now built which we're now all connected back up on the on the uh the stands and then the service road should be like that i'm hoping this is it now this won't work yet because we don't have all the stuff needed for it this is so ugly i do not like it i do not like it missing taxiway path to a runway supporting large aircraft it exists is it because this doesn't have the uh the road is that what it is but it exists you fool it exists or do you think it's because it has to go through the uh the ice and services that might be the issue oh i don't know i don't know but i'm hoping we're now getting back on top of this i'm hoping we are now getting back on top of this as my game slowly dies they're now about to start building all of this here and hopefully it finalizes all of this bit there right say no to all of these so that it doesn't arrive hopefully well when you click on that it changes the like the overlay so yeah i'm not quite sure about this then it's missing taxiway pathway to a runway supporting large aircraft found well this supports large aircraft i don't quite know about that one if anyone knows please let me know in the comment section down below but i need to get the rest of the stuff for the de-icing services now before we do that i'm gonna pause because i'm now gonna run my uh terminal stuff down below connecting all the way over there we go there we go delete this wall so we're going to get that built and then we need to do the same over here as well now where should i place this i know it's a four wide gap and where did i place that one i suppose it doesn't really make much sense or it doesn't really matter that much but let's say i went here that's a four so that is now being where i'm going to set it all the way across over to here so it's a lot of uh foundation to now build 
A lot of foundation to build. But we'll try and get that all done as well. So, getting to build all that. Other stuff that I'm now required to get in for the de-icing services is we need the de-icing fluid depot. Which is a building that connects to service roads. So if I just throw in one just there for the sake of it. And then am I going to need de-icing vehicles? Is that a thing? Because I honestly, I don't know. I honestly do not know. So plane de-icing trucks. It is a thing. I'll get 10. Again, don't know how many I need. <laughs> but I'll get them anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm yet to have the uh, the depot built. So I can't order them until the depot over here is built. Gotcha. Okay, we'll, we'll hold out for a moment then. I'm requesting extra fuel. So, yeah. The game's now going to cripple. Just so I can get all this extra stuff now in. But it, to be honest with you, it shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't take too long. Now, I don't know what's going on with the uh, the hangar stuff. I don't know what makes it work to... I don't know. Do you reckon it's a case of I need it before they exit? Like, as soon as they land the plane, they repair before they get to the uh, hangar? Do you reckon that could be the issue? Right, let me, let me try one. Because that's now still throwing up an arrow. So let me try it down here instead. So the hangar. Let me build it there instead. And let's see what happens. So it might be a case it, it lands, repairs, then goes to the stand. Yeah. Or is that the issue? <laughs> Doing a little roundabout for the uh, taxi pathway. I don't know. Honestly, at this point, I, I honestly do not know. I've never really done it, to be honest with you. It's not something I've attempted to do in the past. So, how are we getting on down here, boys? It's a lot of uh, foundation we've got to build. And they're also building it up here, too. So, it's a lot we're asking from them. But I'm hoping we can get... Oh, have they built that already? Oh, snap, they have. I can order my vehicles now. All right, let's order 10. Wait for them to get delivered. Wait for these puppies to get delivered right now. And uh, it might be something that we need to enable as well in operations. So that's done. De-icing service, de-icing flu. Oh, we don't have a supplier. Damn. So offered contracts. A what do we class that as? Oh, de-icing fluid suppliers. So Provion and Chemcorp are four star. $4.83. So uh, Provion here is the cheapest at $4.62, right? Yeah. So they accept these guys. I can now enable it. And... 
So does this... Oh, so this needs to be refueled. So wait for the, the goods to be delivered. Wait for those goods to be delivered. And I'm yeah, I'm assuming I'm assuming it's similar to the fuel depot. You can add additional fuel uh, tanks onto it. Is that right? It kind of has the same layout. You know what I mean? Okay, 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 okay. So I'm just waiting for it to be refueled at the moment. I'm just waiting for the big fuel tanker to make its way, which it's now... Oh, no, yeah, there we go. It's now here. So that's now got 100%, which will see all the vehicles now driving in to take those goods, which they're going to suck it completely dry straight away. <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? It is funny. So if I now head up here... Which takes me 20 years to get up here at this point. How long until we see a vehicle request the uh, de-icing services? Is it is it a case of we we're, we're really going to have to wait until winter? I don't know. It's interesting, right? It is going to be an interesting one. And that's the de-icing service uh, request symbol. I'm going to wait for a new plane to enter. Here we go. And then we'll see what this requires. So no services. No services just yet. What about you? No services, boys. No services. Right, is this all done yet, guys? Why are they taking so long still? Why are you damn fools still taking so long? Shouldn't you have this done by now? They should have this done by now, shouldn't they? Damn fools. Da -da -damn. Right, we'll try and also get some cloning done. This is where my game ultimately... I mean, you thought it died before. Watch it die now as I try and place and clone some elevators. Oh, I can't do it. I always forget this part. I can't do it because your boy needs... Oh, I can't do anything. i got to wait till they've actually fully built them. So I've got to zone all the security areas as well. All right, taxi stuff. Does that solve it? The answer is going to be no. I don't know with the hangar. I honestly don't know. That's requesting something. I don't know what it's requesting there, that additional stuff. Have they built the hangar down here yet? No. They have not. But that icon don't exist no more. So ever since I did the round the the, the roundabout <laughs> for it, I don't know whether that accounts to it or anything like that. I don't think so. Oh, that one's done it as well. I think you just have to get it connected to that extra bit. Okay, we, we've got one now with either side. We now have one either side. This has an icon here that I don't recognise. What 
What is that icon? Notifications. It's still occupied by current plane. Oh, now it's off. I don't know them. I don't know, but I think we're now technically back to normal, right? Whatever normal it is in this world. And we're still waiting for the underpasses to be built. Still got a gazillion years to wait. I just want to see a plane use my de-icing services. I think we have to wait for winter. Yeah, I think we're waiting for winter on some of this. Now, in terms of my money then, we shouldn't really have any funds come in yet for de-icing or hang repairs. Now, I'm gonna. this might sound stupid, but I don't think... you. We don't need any mechanic vehicles, right? Um... Oh, I don't have any... Oh, my goodness me. I don't have any ambulances, fire trucks, or police cars in here, do I? I don't have any emergency services. That's actually a bigger shambles than anything else. Um... No. Okay. Oh, I won't complain too much just yet how are they doing over here right I can now visually see both ends of it <laughs> uh, but this is going to take a while come on you fools come on right that one side's almost done by the way just that little bit there. And I think we can actually do all the flooring now, right? The zoning. Because I've got to zone a secure area. And wait 20 years for it to accept what I'm placing down. To do the same thing here. to international zone it hold on there we go to international zone this one There we go. <laughs> it took a while. And I think what we'll do first is I'll build an elevator over on this side. Dead center. And then I'm going to clone it. I'm going to clone this. So we'll clone this little bit here. Flip it right round. Oh, no, no, not, not the uh, the map. And try and get this in perfect as well. There we go. And then once I've all done this, I'm literally just going to clone it over there. Just to make my life so much easier with all the placements. Right. You thought building that was a pain. Went to the try and get all this in. Now, any money for de icing or stuff? Hanger stuff? No? <laughs> oh, man. Our fees are, are set correctly, right? Yeah. I've got de icing enabled. 
I don't need to do hangar stuff. I think it's just technically okay anyway. Now, R&D. What am I left of now? Is it, No, I've actually researched everything. All projects now complete. Perfect. i got five admins still available, so I might do a... Passenger satisfaction boost? What's my passenger satisfaction? Uh, or staff productivity. I'm going to go passenger satisfaction on that one. Yeah, why not? Why freaking not? So the elevator's over there right now. It's popped up. Which is good to see. They've built a couple of walkulators. Oh, do you know what I could do as well? Is you know we got our workmen just here and there and there. I could do underground extensions. Well, it only really worked to this one. But then again, they can just pop up and walk. No, it makes no point. <laughs> Ignore what I'm saying. Because they can just kind of pop up there and then walk that way. Yeah. There's no point doing that, boy. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down right now. Oh, the game is struggling. Right, I think my uh, my passenger limits are slowly starting to increase. Because for the first time ever, I've got 1,600 passengers in my airport. And it's 1 a.m. In, in the midday. In the midnight, sorry. So I think we're slowly getting around to them. Because I increased it to 20%. I think this might be the 20% increase. And I did increase it to 50%. And I think we still got a little, a few more days. Because what happens is when you increase your or decrease your passenger ratio, it doesn't physically change until all the flights scheduled have come in. And then any, any new flights that then get scheduled have the new ratio. So basically you change the ratio. You have to wait seven days to pass by before the new planes get generated after seven days kind of come in, if that makes any sense whatsoever. All right, this is all now done. So now we're going to clone. This is probably going to be the most difficult bit. All right, waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, as soon as I press click as well, it's going to take 20 years. To clone the elevators. Come on, you damn fools. Clone. Clone. Why you take so long? I think I might have officially broke the game. Right, guys, I'll be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> when the game decides... Uh... Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, do not misclick. Right, I moved my mouse out of the way. Uh, and now we've got to wait another 20 minutes before the game confirms that placement um, is eligible. Oh, 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 oh! We're halfway there. We're halfway there, boys. And... We are waiting. We are waiting. 20 years. I'm falling asleep. Oh, there we go. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> right, we got there in the end. But So I ain't got to do nothing else right now. That's now all been placed in. So we've now got additional highways. I'm going to call them highways anyway. For the passengers to skadoodle to and from and through and there and here and all that jazz. You get the gist of it, right? You get the gist of it, baby. So... Very good. I'm still yet to I'm still yet to see any planes going to the hangars. Or even use my de-icing services. But that'll be something to look for when the weather slowly starts to change. Because I feel like we're in the summer months right now, aren't we? Yeah. Isn't it like uh, 12 here? Like you have first three months, winter no. Oh you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But I gotta wait for the weather to change, boys. Before we start seeing them utilize it. But uh, either way, we have stuff in. Is this hangar? Is this built? I don't know if that's even built just yet. But um, give it some time. Give it some time. We can s just see people using our underground passages, even though they're refusing to use the walkulators. How dare they? How dare they? 
Uh, we've got 2,200 people now currently in the airport. So my restaurants and stores are really going to like that. They're really going to like it, which would mean that they will slowly start making more money. And that all comes down to my franchises. So they should slowly start making a little bit more cash with the more people coming in. So, yeah. We are slowly getting there. <laughs> we are slowly getting there, boys. The game's struggling. My game really is struggling. But I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, goodbye.